So, like, some genuine advice I would have given to my younger self. You know, back in the day, saying elementary school, middle school, what I would really do after school, I'd just go home and play video games. I didn't really have much of a life, you know. I was just, you know, maybe on weekends, spend some time with the friends, mess around, have fun. That was your average childhood life, having fun. And I regret nothing because it made me the person I am today. But if I had to go back and tell him something that would drastically improve his life, I would have to say probably to take more risks. You improve your life. You become a better person in every regard of your life when you choose to take risks. When you choose to do something, when you risk something and you risk experiencing pain or something, you learn from that. For example, doing wrestling has taught me a bunch. I've learned about, you know, mindset. It's taught me about teamwork, commitment, staying true to your word, discipline. Wrestling has taught me all of that. Just doing stuff that's inherently hard to do, doing hard stuff that's not going to be enjoyable. Just being a more disciplined person and not chasing the... Not wasting your time. Back in the day, speaking to all like the little kids out there in middle school and stuff. Back in the day, I used to waste my time. I'd go home and play video games. I'm assuming that's what everybody else is doing. I would say not to burn as much time. Maybe try to do something productive with that time. Maybe start a YouTube channel. Go try new things. Talk to new people challenge yourself do hard stuff maybe join a martial art do a sport find something that's really going to discipline and challenge you that's going to have a huge risk like andrew tate he did kickboxing and that's what taught him everything he needed to know about life his mindset that disciplinized mindset you see in andrew tate professional kickboxing and chess taught him that mindset and i just think if you did not waste as much time and you started young, as a young person, you start up with your prime energy and motivation and you use that to do something that's going to be productive for you. That's the best thing. Don't burn as much time. You know, it's fun to play video games. It's fun to watch TV. It's fun to do these things that are entertaining. But don't, don't be entertained. Entertainment is the worst thing you can do. Because it wastes your time. Like, let's think, what are you really doing when you're being entertained? When you're on the couch watching TV? You're just staring at pixels. You're basically staring at a wall. When you're watching TV, you know, there's a TV. You're just staring at a bunch of flashing lights. And it's teaching you, it's giving you information. And that information is practically irrelevant when you're watching something on on Netflix, maybe some Netflix show. It's not teaching you any valuable life lessons. It's just entertaining you. It's making you feel like you're gaining something from it. It's the illusion of achievement or whatnot. The way you learn, the way you gain success in the real world is by getting off that couch and doing stuff that's going to have risk to it. There's no risk sitting on the couch. There is risk fighting, being a boxer, doing wrestling, challenging yourself, training super hard for something. There's risks to that. You know, you could break an arm. You could, like, you'll feel pain. There's a challenge to it. So experience more of life. Do not waste your time. You only have so much time, and you can get a whole lot done. And everybody has the power to become a super successful person. Do not waste your time. Choose what you do wisely. Is what I'd say to my younger self.